right, numbers one, two, and three, groups of four. Always groups of four for this stuff. So here we go with number one. 60, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four
mistakes today. One, two, one, two, three, four. talked about yesterday with the modes uh, one of the biggest things was you got to separate intervals from the numbered chord system intervals from the key so when you look at let's say the the triad PDF you got it says major equals one, three, five, minor is one, flat three and five. Whew, diminished is one, flat three, flat five. So not once did we ever say a B diminished is made up of the intervals seven, two, four. So like when you were and I think that's the big thing. Like the mistake that was made with the Mo stuff last time. It's like you have, let's say, I don't know if template's the right word. Basically, if you had like a picture, what, what the heck would that thing be called? Not a template. It's like, um, or maybe it is a template. Basically, there's like a thing you can shift up and down, right? So, like, let's say you had, we'll start on the C chord here. It's like those three notes, th that's three spaces right there. So, out of context of anything, no matter what key that's in, whether it's in a key or not, root note, you go up oh, two whole steps to the three, and then another, st and another step and a half to the five. So, it's one, three, and five. So no matter where you put that, you know, that that's a major chord, right? So just like when you play this shape, no matter where you play that down here on the low E string, that's a fifth chord or a power chord. No matter where you play that bar chord, that's a major chord, right? It's always a major chord. So the way a major chord is defined is you have your root note, a major third, and the perfect fifth. So when we are looking at chords in key, we don't say a C major chord in the key of C is just the one, three, five, and then an F major chord is a uh, four, six, two, 
That would be right, a 462, no. Look at the four, hang on, four, skip the five to six, skip the one to, there are seven to one, four, a four, six, one. We don't say that of F major chords, intervals are four, six, one. It's one, three, five. So it's like you got the mode made out of its intervals. You have chords made out of their intervals and so on. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else I could add that would be helpful. No, I'm not thinking of anything else. Uh, yeah, so just remember, like, with the, the most stuff that you were doing, like, you can look at it, or, or like, the dyad stuff. The, the, the tree, the, we have a big tree out front. And I keep hearing like acorns drop off the tree and land on the roof. It's very distracting. Um, so like when we did your chords there, like things, um, other things to think about besides just naming the chords as like dyads, like you could have looked at the other three notes in there as other three intervals. So like the root note over to the G notes, so E to G, that's minor third. So that's step and a half to that three, right? Or third fret, I mean. So, here, let me pull that up. I realize I might be uh, more confusing than need be. I'm not trying to be, but I realize I very well could be. Oh, man, I'm tired today. Anyway, all right. So, another, I like the idea of what we did, like using, you just use the root notes to figure out what the intervals need to be. And then you use the parent key, the major scale, the major key, to say like what type of chord needs to happen. But another way to look at this, just so you know, you can look at the second note in the chord as, you know, adjust the intervals that way too. So, again, E is number one. E is home base for this. That's one for everything because that's, you know, how the mode stuff works. When you have E whatever, E is always one. E is always number one. Okay, so E Aeolian, E is number one. E Dorian, E is number one. E Phrygian, E is number one. E is number one, and it can only be that, okay? So, looking at this, Obviously, that so hopefully that's obvious that that highlighted note E is still number one. It's just a higher octave. Ooh, boy. So that note there, the G. And remember, you get the interval numbers comparing things to the major scale, the Ionian mode. So if you go up three notes in E Ionian, that's G sharp. That's the third interval, major third. But we have G. So you flat that. So flat the G sharp down to a G, that gives you the flat third. So you could, again, what I'm trying to get at is in, you, you could look at the root notes as we did yesterday, which is a fantastic thing to do. Keep doing that. But you could, all, you could have also looked at the second notes in there as intervals as well. So right there, Aeolian mode, that is a flat third because Aeolian has a flat third. So that's good. So that note there, the A note, sorry, yeah, the A, it, that's the fourth interval of E. One, two, three, four. So there's your four. And then the next note there, B. That's the five. One, two, three, four, five. That second note in an E5 power chord. And then that bar is the same. We've already covered that interval, that interval as well. All right, 10th fret on the D string. That's the C note. So C in relation to the E. If we go one, two, three, four, five, so we went E, F sharp, G sharp, A, D. C sharp is the six. 
but we have a C. So C sharp is the major six. C is the minor six, also known as a flat six. So there we have that flat six coming through. The highlighted note right now. All right, so the D note, that is a flat seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is D sharp. So a flat seven is D. Another way of finding that really quick is number one. A half step down is the major seven. So a half step below E is D sharp. So a whole step below E is D natural. D natural is the flat seven, also known as the minor seven of E. And then the last interval we haven't covered, this note right there. So fourth fret on that D string, F sharp, that is major second of E, because there's a whole step up. So, what we ended up doing at the end of uh, last night was you established changing the root notes of each chord to the appropriate interval for the mode you're working on. Then you went back to the parent major scale or major key and applied the chord number system to that. Keep doing that. So why did I just go through everything I just did? So this way you know you could also do it that way. I want you to have as many tools at your disposal as necessary. Um, you know what, let's do one more together right here. I don't know if you've done it yet, but let's work through it anyway. All right, so we did the Euphrygian last night. Lydian is next, so E Lydian, that's going to be the mode. And if you, well, basically, E Lydian, Lydian is mode number four, and it has a sharp four, so it has a sharp four. So, going through this in a very detailed way. We know the root note of that first chord is an E, which is one. So that never changes on any of this stuff. Seventh fret has to be there. Ninth fret, that's a whole step up. That's a major second, so that stays. That note right there, that's wrong. That's not in E Lydian. We need it to be an 11, or in this case, a G sharp, because that is two whole steps Two whole steps above the root. Key. Well, I just cannot stop yawning today. Good lord. <clears throat> All right. So major scale. If we go down one, two, three, four, in a major scale, we land on a B. So E Lydian is in the key of B major. So I'll change that right now. All right, so we're just going through the root notes again. So this bar needs to look the same as the first. Same interval going on here. We need to change this G to a G sharp. So now we've got the A. So if you're looking at this, we have this E, F sharp, G sharp, and then Look okay, in the head, because we've got E, F sharp, G sharp, and then uh, F sharp, G sharp again. Here's the next new note. That's an A. But that's the fourth note, so E is the one. F sharp is the second note. G sharp is the third note. And then going higher, A lands as the fourth note up from E. But what's the actual distance? That is a perfect fourth. Because if we go up from E, one, two, three, four, we land on an E on a on an A. One, two, three, four. So from there, 
Because Lydian has a sharp 4, we need to take that A and make it an A sharp. So then you turn the 12 into a 13. So now we have the sharp 4 to make it sound Lydian. Next note there, that's a B. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We land on a B. Perfect fifth, we don't touch it. There's the A again. We need to turn that into A sharp. And here we have the, uh, the G natural. We already established it needs to be an E sharp or a G sharp. Down here, a D natural. That is a whole step below E, making it a flat seven. The only thing different between Lydian and Ionian is a sharp four. So we need to take that D and sharp it so we go from a flat seven interval to a natural seven interval, also known as a major seven. It's there. So, looking at the rest. Lydian is the fourth mode. So going back to the parent major scale, which I believe is the most easy way of doing, or the simplest way of doing this, the easiest way of doing it. E Lydian is the fourth mode of B. So that has to be chord number four anyway, when we're looking at it from the parent major scale. So that means it needs to be a major dyad. Because right now that's a minor, so we need to make it a major dyad. Change it to that. Boom, E, no five. This would be number five, chord number five right here. Currently, it is a minor dyad. It needs to be a major dyad. So we take that flat third interval, raise it up a half step. There we go. So this one, so we had chord number, from the parent major scale, B major scale, the key is B. E major is chord number four. F sharp major is chord number five. So G sharp is the root note for chord number six. And as you know, that has to be a minor chord. So that we leave that alone. It's already a minor dyad. We're good there. So we make bar number two look the same as bar number one. Let's add those chord names. All right. So next we go down here. And two of these chords we already looked up or looked at up here. So let's make them look the same as uh, up above. Got to turn that into a major dyad. That stays a minor dyad. And we can see up here, we got natural signs showing. So something's definitely wrong. Something is not in key. Something's out. Um, all right, so that was chord number, good lord. Four, five, six, four, five, six, five, six. This will be number seven, which does need to be a minor dyad. Right now, that man, that note's just off. That's a, a D natural, needs to be a D sharp. So we're gonna raise that up. So what interval is that? So we got the 13th fret and the 10. So you have an A sharp and a C. That's a major second right now. Well, that's a suspended second, and that's not going to work anyway, because, yeah, anyway, just change that there. So this is our dyad for position seven in the key of B major. And because we are peddling off this low E note again and again, E is our tonal center in the key of B major, and that makes this mode E Lydian. E Lydian is in B major. Anyway, so put that in there, A sharp minor, no five. If we played all three notes of in key for a triad, that would be a diminished. All right, so we go from there. 
up to a B note, right? And we're in the key of B, so currently that's a dyad, or a, a minor dyad. We need to change this to a 13. And then we have that change earlier. That stays the same. And then this would be chord number three in the key of B, key of B major. How do we know that? Well, this is chord number four in the key of B major. We go one note below it. That goes to three. Chord number three is a minor dyad, so we leave that guy alone. Whoops, I didn't change that one. <laughs> Got to change the resolve chord there. So hopefully all that makes sense. It did seem like you were starting to understand what's going on last night. This stuff can be confusing for sure. Like, you're not alone. It confuses a lot of people. And I, I feel the biggest thing to remember here, separate intervals from the key. Because the key is not what determines what an interval is. An interval is what it is no matter what, no matter where. That's why I like to say if you take a ruler and you have it in this room as 12 inches, you put it in another room, it doesn't suddenly change to 34 inches. It's still the same thing, no matter what. No matter what. So a major chord is always going to be a 1, 3, and 5. A minor chord is always 1, flat, 3, and 5 and so on. So, we'll get it. We'll get it. Any questions, let me know. I'll see you again next week.